Hey everyone, I'm Carolyn. Today I'm at the Pure Intentions Coffee Skills Campus and I'm going to be going over everything that you may need to know for home espresso brewing. So I want to take a second to talk about all the tools that you might need for a successful shot of espresso. First and most important, your espresso machine. Um, second, something to, to be able to pour your shot into. Um, preferably something that has a line to mark an ounce, but that's definitely not needed. Um, a kitchen scale, anything that can, that can weigh out some grams, potentially ounces, if that's helpful, helpful to you. Um, a good quality tamp is really important. Up next, a kitchen timer of any kind. You can use your watch or a microwave if you need it. Um, a good tamp box or something to knock out into. You can use a trash can, a compost bin, your backyard, anything. Um, and also a good quality grinder. So once you have all your tools ready to go, you're ready to start your espresso. Um, you can start by taking your portafilter out of the group head, giving it a little bit of a bath, and then drying it completely with a clean rag. I'm gonna start by zeroing out the weight of my portafilter on a scale, and then grinding hopefully 16 grams of espresso into my portafilter. Gonna double check the weight of that. Awesome, right at 16. So once I have my espresso in a little pile in the portafilter, I'm just gonna take the palm of my hand and gently tap. Um, trying to knock all the mountains and rivers and valleys that are in this little pile of espresso to just be flat. So once it's all nice and distributed, I'm going to take my tamper. I like to come at tamping um, like a doorknob. I'm going to come at the tamper with the palm of my hand on the knob, using my thumb and pointer finger as little antennas while I'm apply applying pressure. With my elbow straight up in the air, I'm going for a 90 degree angle in my arm with a really stable wrist motion. Um, and hopefully I'm going for 30 pounds of pressure on the espresso. If you want to practice that, you can use a kitchen scale. I'm going to lock my portafilter into the group head and start my shots. Starting my timer at the same time. And while you're waiting for the espresso to pour, it's, it's really important to notice what it looks like when it's pouring. We like the shot to start pouring within four to seven seconds of the shot being started. You wanna start with shallow drops, um, and then it's gonna kind of flow into a stream, and then eventually it'll turn into this beautiful layer, layer of crema. We're gonna go for about an ounce. Hopefully that'll happen in 25 to 30 seconds. Beautiful. So before I do anything, um, I'm going to go ahead and take out my portafilter from the group head, knock it into a trash can or a dump box or a compost bin, whatever you have close by. Give it a little bath and then knock it right back into place. So now that you have your double shot of espresso, it's common practice to mix this with some textured milk, some steamed milk, um, some plant-based milk, or even some cold milk with ice. You're more than welcome to check out any recipes or recommendations for this at pureintentionscoffee.com.